All right, we're going back in time today, back to 1984. I left Las Vegas and moved to Los Angeles, wanted to get into the film business. And one of my first jobs was in Hollywood at Caracol Pictures, the guys that did all the Rambo films. But while I was in Hollywood, I discovered Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. So today, I'm going to do my best to duplicate Roscoe's right here in Las Vegas, and you can duplicate it at home. So we're going to start off with a package of six chicken wings, unseparated. You want the drums and the flat connected. You're just going to take the tips off, and as we take the tips off, we're going to put the wings into a bowl because we're going to cover that bowl with some buttermilk. Make sure you get it all the way to the top so every piece of chicken is covered in that buttermilk. And then we're going to add some hot sauce. I'm using Frank's Red Hot. Probably about a quarter cup. Mix that in well with your hand. Make sure all of the chicken gets a little piece of that hot sauce. And then we're going to put our lid on it and put it in the fridge for three to four hours. Next, we're going to work on our flour for our fried chicken wings. You're going to need paprika, granulated garlic, accent, basil, oregano, ginger, white pepper, granulated onion, celery salt, and thyme. And we're going to put two teaspoons of each into our little bowl. And then we're going to add all the spices to two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And we'll give that a good mix. And then it's time to dredge our chicken wings. Take them out after a few hours. Drain off some of that buttermilk. And then right into that seasoned flour to go. And really press the seasoned flour into the chicken. You want to make sure it's completely covered, nice and thick. And I took a baking sheet, put some flour on it, that I'm going to place my chicken wings onto, and that'll keep them from sticking to the uh, baking sheet. So once we get all the wings coated, we've got our oil turned on to 350 degrees. And while we're finishing this up, if I can remind you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay up to date on newest recipes. I really appreciate it. So we're going to let these sit and rest while the oil comes up to temp. And while we wait, we're going to work on our waffle batter, which is going to be a quarter cup baking powder, two cups all-purpose flour, a couple teaspoons of salt, and we'll mix that up real good. And then we're going to work on our wet ingredients, which is going to be two eggs, a quarter cup of olive oil, and about two tablespoons of vanilla. Then we're going to add two cups of whole milk and mix that up real good. Now we'll add this to our dry mixture. And then we'll mix this up real good. And we're going to set it to the side for a few minutes and move back to our chicken. We've got our oil up to 350 degrees. So we're going to put our chicken in. You don't want to overload your frying pot. So I'm only going to do three at a time. And we're going to cook these in the oil between 12 and 15 minutes. So they're golden brown and cook thoroughly. Once done, we're going to remove to a wire rack so they stay crispy. And while those are cooling off a little bit, it's time to make our waffles. 
hit it with a little non-stick then put a ladle of your batter mixture in there and basically make the waffle according to the directions of your waffle iron once our waffles done it's time to plate I like to put the waffle down with a little bit of powdered sugar and then we'll set our two pieces of chicken on top of the waffle and then I like to drizzle a little bit of the maple syrup right on top of the chicken and the waffles together make sure you get a high quality maple syrup none of that cheap stuff like Mrs. Buttersworth and there you have chicken and waffles as good as Roscoe's as I remember in Hollywood but you're making it at home alright give this recipe a try it'll be a fan favorite thank you very much for watching